cream has finally sprung. Look at this cutie. This is your free rooftop terrace. <laughs> Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're well. I know I haven't filmed for a while, but life has been hectic. Lots of work, kids with chicken pox, charity project. So life was pretty busy, but I'm happy to tell you that we finished one of our main projects for Ukraine. We were fundraising money for a van and we finally successfully completed it. Van is now in Ukraine, it is working hard on the eastern front line near Liman city and it is used to deliver supplies to Ukrainian heroes. Right now we are fundraising money to buy a drone. We bought one last year, so right now we're trying to fundraise enough money to buy another one. So if you want to help Ukraine, you can join right now. I leave you link in the description box. Thanks everyone who already donated, even one pound makes a difference and to those who donated for the first drone, it is still operating near Vuhledar. You are amazing, thank you so much. So today I'm finally going out and it seems like today is the only day of the week when it's not raining. <laughs> lucky me today i have a meeting with a friend um later today we're going to the event so finally something interesting is happening so i thought i should film a video for you guys and by the way today is the first day of spring in the uk so we could deliver something from cafe kitsune let's unpack together so they contacted me yesterday and asked if they can send me some treats to celebrate the arrival of the spring um yeah as i mentioned it is spring in the uk yesterday was spring equinox so happy spring everyone and this is what they sent me i can see two boxes here so let's have a look what's inside box number one. Oh my god it's like a nest with eggs look at this cutie so it is chocolate and hazelnut danish and it will be available from 1st of april and this one is i have no way oh my god look at this oh my god i love these biscuits <laughs> this is cafe kitsune iconic fox biscuits this is so cute this one is caramel miso rice pudding brioche oh my god it's huge look at this okay so i'm done with unpacking and i'll see you in the city wait before i go look i'm a proper garden lady now <laughs> So I'm back to the city and I think they have like this major roadworks going on right now so probably it's not the best time to visit this area if you're visiting London but I love architecture here all these buildings especially one of my favorites the Royal Exchange look at all these flowers hey little birdie Oh, spring is here. Spring is here. Oh, naughty bird! She's eating the flower. So I thought I was early, but apparently my friend is inside. So let's go and find her. Here you can find Fortnum and Mason bar and restaurant. But as I said, we are early. So let's go and check the Easter collection, shall we? So they have lots of chocolate eggs, different sizes with hazelnuts, little chocolate bunny and hen. <laughs> so cute! I love the packaging and colors. Wow! 
Look, little rainbow eggs. Content creation and the process. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me guys, but we having not lunch, we having an afternoon tea and I have to tell you that Fortnum and Mason afternoon tea is one of my absolute favorites. Have you tried? I'm so excited! <laughs> By the way, this is Julia, the friend I was talking about. This is her. So they brought us uh, steel water and two glasses of champagne and the menu but basically you just need to choose tea blend everything else is kind of the same <laughs> as you can see um, so here we have five six seven eight nine different blends but I think they have more I'm not really sure so this is the sandwiches we'll be having and I'm gonna go for classic Earl Grey of course Guys, the funniest thing is that we actually got an afternoon tea each. <laughs> Hopefully, I can eat it all. So we have violet cake, we have an apple cake, we have ginger cake, uh, scones, and we have lots of sandwiches. This one is smoked trout with dill, cucumber, ham, egg mayonnaise, and incarnation chicken. guys we finished with afternoon tea see we couldn't even eat scones <laughs> our next event is in a different part of town so I thought I should show you one of the best free rooftop terraces right so if you close to bank station you can go to one new change this is the name and you just need to take that lift. That's it guys. This is your free rooftop terrace with the view of St. Paul's Cathedral. Perfect for sunset watching and also there is a cafe over there Twenty minutes later we are next to South Kensington station and look what we found spring has finally sprung look at this gorgeous magnolia tree oh my god how pretty it is guys just look at this street I call it Magnolia Street <laughs> oh my god I need to count how many Magnolia trees we can find it's insane So we arrived at our final destination, Badiani. Are you ready to try Italian Easter treats with us? As we're here for a tasting Easter collection, um, you may know that in the UK we have cross buns for Easter, but in Italy they have this Colomba cake. So basically it's like panettone, it's basically the same, but it's in the shape, it's like a bird, like a dove. But I'm so excited to try it because I never tried it before. 
so we asked for a piece of Columba and they brought us this Columba with chocolate Badiani store was opened in 1932 in Florence, the city which I have on my list for ages. But I'm glad we have Badiani here in London. So we came for Badiani Easter showcase and we tried the slice of Colomba Classica as well as chocolate one. Also we tried semifreddo eggs. So basically they take the shells of real hen's eggs and fill them with creamy mascarpone or rich gianduja semifreddo. Also, they served us limited edition Colombo flavor creamy gelato. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye!